Good evening, everyone. I am Minoxin, and this is a relaxed cast. Ah, 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 ah. <clears throat> that was awkward. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. How is it going? Um, it is a Tuesday for me, so going okay. I'm super busy at work and stuff lately, so sorry I haven't put out a cast. That, and I am suffering from a mild addiction to Civ Five. All of that being said, this is going to be, as stated um, with my strange accented voice, I'm not sure what exactly that was, possibly a vampire-ish, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we're going to see this pics getting out of here pretty quick. I just did want to go ahead and touch on, um, real quick, thank you to all the subscribers. If you're watching this right now, you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. It is free, so go ahead and do that. We are getting so much closer to that thousand mark. I'm going to be releasing a video pretty soon. I said that last time, I know. Um, but I actually have my hair cut now, so I'm, I'm okay about being on camera now, so we'll have to just see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, so once we hit the thousand subs, I'm going to do that little contest thing I had mentioned before, and why is my deal not working? There it is. So, yeah, let's just uh, get this going. Uh, we have on the... What do we got going here? What, who's... <laughs> They've got a scout. That's always good. Everybody loves Scout. Who doesn't love Scout? Um, so anyways, we have uh, Swiftblade of the female variety. Not very feminine, but there. Uh, Corrupted Disciple, Myrmidon, Voodoo Jester, and Thunderbringer. Thunder! Thunder! Thundercats! Ho! And my cat just ran away. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I was, I tried to, I was going to do a serious cast tonight, but I just, I couldn't get on a prayer to join me because it's too late, and I should probably be in bed by now as well because I'm sleepy, but, um, I'm also feeling a little giddy, so I figure that this is a good time to do a cast. We have a, gl whoa, okay, never mind, I was going to say, what the, I'm just not watching the right person, as we have Thunderbringer with that bottle. I thought I saw Glacius with a bottle, I was going to be quite impressed. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but Thunderbringer going to be going middle, as he is very good there. Do I have this zoomed all the way out? Man, that looks like it's close. I'm used to playing Civ Five now. Everything's so zoomed for back. Okay, Hellborn team. Let's touch on this real quick. <laughs> they want to kick Brown. Uh, we have Dampier, Sandwraith, Soul Reaper, Glacius, and Scout. The ever-loved and ever-beloved Scout. So... We're, oh, we've got a Soul Reaper with a double damage here, middle, so that's going to give him a nice start here against Thunderbringer. He is going to come on over here and uh, bring it on. He's bringing it on hard, too. As bottom, equally going down hard here, we have Glacius retreating to try and get out of here to dodge the Swift Blade and Myrmidon combo. Oh, God. Um, yeah, someone ate a lot of damage. Thunderbringer, I didn't even get to see what that was. I'm imagining in my mind's eye that he ate the... Judgment, and a couple of auto attacks, because that's probably all it would take um, to do that much damage. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we have a double melee top. Oh, man. These guys are going to be having one hell of a time against the double ranged. I can smell it. It's in the air tonight. Oh, there's someone dying. I can't even watch my mini-map. Holy crap. Okay, I apologize. That's not going to happen again. I'm watching really close now, just like he's chasing. Saw it. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we've got Dampier and Glacius going down here. They're facing off against this Swift Blade and Myrmidon, who is chasing after that Glacius we saw just a little bit earlier. So far, not too much going on here. We did have the early death down bottom, I know. Glacius already going for that nice early Glacius carry mode. I can't click on him there. Um, you know, having picked up First Blood... He's going to be so much more tanky now. He can definitely go for his Shield Breaker. Or possibly even um, Frostfield Plate, I would think, might be a good pickup on him. So, if you're going to carry Glacius route anyway. So, yeah. That's, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> uh, what do we have going on down here? A 2-2 two two, uh, Swift Blade. Myrmidon being harassed to all to hell. And he's facing off against a 6-0 and o Dampier. Not really a huge advantage so far, or one way or the other yet, other than the Glacius kill down there, which was nice. Glacius getting a kill, that is, on Zemurm. 
Soul Reaper now. Forced to not have his rune since Thunderbringer did lovingly collect it. And... Oh, no. He's not going to pop it. I thought he might go ahead and try and pop that double damage and do a little bit extra harass in there, but he's hanging on to it. He wants a better chance to get something accomplished. And speaking of getting accomplished, here comes Glacius. Here comes Glacius. Here comes Glacius. Right down Glacius Lane. Oh, he was going to get spinned, and then I, I had a whole nother chorus lined up for that. Oh, but now it's too late. You already screwed up with the magic carp. Um, Myrmidon's going to die. Bam! Yes, he does. He does. He dies. He dies, Gerd. We're Gerds. <laughs> oh, Mugen. Shh. My cat's back. I scared him earlier, but he's okay. What do we have going on here, guys? I'm trying to... Whoa! Don't want to go look at him. Let's keep an eye on this Glacius. Two crushing claws so far. He is going the survivability route. As he's now one and one. We're going to look to see him trying to improve his kill score here before... Whoa! Went Chilling Presence leveled... Oh, there it is! Now see, that slow of his would have been kind of handy there. <laughs> Maybe he's the 1500 that was... Oh, I forgot to say, um... Oh, God, I even forgot who it is. It's, uh, an odd... Oh, dang it. I will put it in the description as to who suggested this video, which reminds me, uh, thank you all for your suggestions. I have done one recently with one of those suggestions, and this is another one of those. Um, you know, this one was right in there. It said, hey, it's not a professional tier game. But it has some good moments, it's good fun, you see some interesting stuff go on. So we're giving it a try. I haven't watched any of it yet, but it, it goes on long enough that I think it should be interesting. So we are going to uh, enjoy this, and thank you to the wonderful uh, subscriber who sent this in, to monoxin at gmail.com. If you guys have any good replays that you have seen, a tournament game or something you saw that you want, you know, you want cast, or it's not been cast, and... Yeah, you know, et cetera, et cetera. If you want to cast, go ahead and give me uh, some knowledge or some information. Give me some knowledge. Oh, God. Give me some information, and I will be glad to take a look at it and see if I can do a cast on it. Whoa, Dampier is actually going to truck it all the way back to base. He is dedicated. So dedicated. Meanwhile, Swiftblade cleaning up on some creeps there. Going to increase that farm, that firm. Just, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> Sandwraith must have been doing just a little bit of dodging. Got out, got out of dodge, as it was, and um, managed to escape to here. To where he was now, yep, he's free. Oh, man. I about missed the second, or, er, well, fourth, fifth kill of this game. So, do not want to do that. I am trying to keep an eye. Oh, God. Dang it. And Glacius going to... Oh, I can't click fast enough. Uh, Myrmidon, though. No! Myrmidon is going to be going down. No, he's not. No, he's not. Take that back. Oh, and we have a pause. Hang on. Let me let me edge this up here. And we're just going to do this the, the quick and easy way. So... Um, while we are in the middle of this, I didn't really actually get any of you to comment in the comments below on YouTube or wherever um, about what you think of the gold system in uh, Han. How, uh, how how do you like it? Do you like the new silver versus gold thing? I mean, obviously, it's so that we, they can try and make a little bit more money. Uh, there's our pause ending. So, yeah, that in our little pause moment there where I get to go nice and heart-to-heart -heart with you guys. What do you think of the gold thing? I know it bugs the crap out of me how expensive that stuff is, so um, just checking. See what you guys think. Um, so, yeah. I think that you should be, you know, you should be able to get the silver coins um, as, you know, at the current rate, I would say, is what you can get them, like how we are now. But I think that the gold coins should be worth so much more than the silver coins. Because if you're going to be broken down to spend money, and hey, if I do go ahead and do the contest thing and give away gold coins as the prize, then it's just all in your own um, favor to say that the gold coin should be worth more. Because it's probably I'm going to probably have the contest available for a month or so, so that way we can get some good submissions. So, yeah. 
Um, do keep an eye out for that. As they're going to try and do a dive. Oh, what the? That's an odd dive. Um, was thinking he, I think he thought he was going for that Sandwraith too, but Sandwraith was not where he expected him to be. And the the gank failed. So, a gank man of one, this Voodoo Jester, who has a bottle, by the way. Um, at level four here so far, so... Maybe not going your stereotypical support Voodoo Jester, as... Oh, they tried to get the Cursed Ground. Not quite gonna be enough yet. And are they gonna hunt him down? Oh, God. Get him! Oh, I would be just so frustrated right now. Oh, 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 Myrmidon, go help him! Oh, well, he is just screwed. And he missed his weed field. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Glacius was a little disappointed there. Did Thunderbringer just ult? Oh, he was trying to get. So they finally got Thunderbringer to go ahead and ulti, and was not quite enough. Glacius wins! As he so says, and I think that he does. I mean, it's obviously the Crushing Claws. He's got one for each of his little hands. They, you know, they give him the extra strength, and he just goes around punching people in the face. Right in the face! Yeah. I love... Me and my friends always talk about that, and, um... He's, oh, Scout's a dead Scout. Ba -dum, ba -dum, bump. Dead Scout. Oh, this might be a dead Merm. If he's... Oh, and he doubles back like a master, even running directly into Dampier. <laughs> uh, at the last possible second. Soul Reaper is here to um, wreck face and does so, and now Swift Blade is going to be ruined as well. Picking up a double tap for the Soul Reaper. And that is not something you want to have happen, because Soul Reaper is the Reaper of Souls. Okay, how many of you guys, like, the first time I saw Soul Reaper, I was like, oh my god, it's Bale. It's like Diablo 2 Bale. <laughs> uh, if you guys are Ball, I don't know how you pronounce it, Bale, Ball. Yeah, it looks exactly like him. We're about 10 minutes into the match, so I will go on more of a serious note here and offer up a glimpse at the items. I'm sure you all chomping at the bits there. Life Tube, um, Ghost Marchers on Corrupted, Myrmidon has his Blood Chalice and Boots for his spam ability there, Voodoo Jester having picked up a bottle, and Striders. Oh, and here comes the stun initiation. Is Swift Blade going to spin? Yes, he does! Um... Who threw... Uh, Voodoo Chat threw out the... Oh, okay. Yeah, it did land. It didn't look like it landed, but it did. And now Glacius throwing the ultimate out. Is he going to get a kill? Yes, he gets a kill. Uh, so now, of course, the um, the Glacius now able to pick up his uh, Pretender's Crown, which totally accentuates his Crushing Claw access accessories. It uh, gives him a nice uh, look there. It like totally covers up this portion of his face. And, um, I don't know what he's pretending for, but the guy, like, legitly deserves a crown because Glacius is, like, so OP. Totally. Sorry, I was looking at his little, the thing he's riding around on. It's kind of an odd shape. Uh, okay. I was touching on items, did that. Thunderbringer was the last one with his bottle and striders. Looks strangely familiar to a Voodoo Jester, which is not the items I was have picked for him, but to each their own. Dampier with double damage being spotted. He does have... Oh, God. He does have the... Uh, he's going to die to it. Bam! Uh, did have Cursed Ground, which is the word I was looking for. Uh, had Cursed Ground on him. Wasn't probably necessary for the Thunderbolt to come out, but it did. And Soul Reaper now going to go ahead and pop his ulti and get himself another kill with that same technique. And Sandwraith looked like he was just popping his ulti to... Oh, God. Um, was popping his ulti because he had to, pretty much, it looked like. Uh, so, so far, a pretty balanced game, as it is 8-8. Eight to eight, A minor golden experience lead in the Hellborn's favor. And Scout near death. 
What's he going to do? Oh, God. Oh, if he only had enough for a freaking electric tide, that would just... I would, I would lulls. I would lulls so hard. He's going to have one soon. 125. He's got, like, three more mana. And then if he decides to do something on that guy there... Oh, boy. Glacius with double damage. Here it comes. Here it comes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Get him. Yes! Your soul is mine. He says as he, like, vanishes into, like, ice mist. It wasn't like he died. It was just he was, like, being a total badass and just, like, vanished into mist and floated back to his base in here so he could take a bath real quick. Um, but... <laughs> Yellow almost got a little piece of the action there. He, he tried to pick up the scout, but the scout was too quick. Quick-witted. Soul Reaper picking up his refreshing ornament. Did I go over these guys' items? No, I don't think I have. I started to, but I found double damage Dampier. Uh, Ghost Marchers and Mighty Blade. A very mighty item indeed. And dead voodoo. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's mean. Bam. So yellow picked up the kill on that. So okay, so that was uh, it was uh, oh, whatever you would call it. Vengeance, vengeance, served. I don't know. Slightly scorched that time because of the uh, the lightning bolt at the end. Soul Reaper. Oh, he got to finish his plate of greaves now. Um, with that death, Glacius chilling out down here. He has now completed a couple of fortified bracelets, and is happy with that and his accomplishment therein. Working on another, going for full carry potential, and sorry. Oh, that's a dead mer. Oh, nicely done using the ultimate to dodge the scout uh, killing blow there. He is still going to die when his ultimate wears off because he does not have enough HP. And yeah, he will still die. But still, a pretty neat dodge. Uh, it's the. Oh, wow. <laughs> he actually survived. Wow, okay. Maybe it's only. Does it oh, just reduce you down to 1 HP? Doo -doo 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 -doo. 200 max health. Oh, it doesn't say. I could have swore that I've had my friend... I never play Myrmidon, but... Uh, my friend who plays him has died many a times when his thing, has, when his ulti has worn off. And it could just be due to poison damage. And there's my me showing my Han ignorance again as Soul Reaper is going to die. Yes, you are. You cute little thing, you. Uh, Corrupted Disciple taking a lot of damage from Glacius, though. So, yeah. We are now looking at a uh, Legion team going to be trying to do a little bit of a push here I would imagine since they have a swift blade and they have a soul reaper down but no they even with the backup oh that's not backup that guy's half dead he ne he needs to back up um as it is here uh looks like he's doing a little bit of a pull no wasn't pulling just just killing speaking of killing whoa wrong one he was killing a ward. That's what I was trying to get vision of, but my f clicks are fail hard today. So I apologize for that. <laughs> Saw that come from a mile away. Couldn't, pr couldn't press H. Couldn't press it. Sorry, dude. I'm busy. Oh, wow. Voodoo Jester. You silly little Voodoo Jester. Decided he he's like, dude, Cursed Ground does like a bajillion damage by itself, right? So all I gotta do is like dive tower and land this and done. Just like totally done. I win the game. And uh, I think I think that gives me shield breaker. So I'm just gonna do that a lot. There's how you press H. Press H to not fall on your ass. Needs to be on a t shirt. Sorry, I'm, I'm observing now. Uh, there's mischief about to be made. This Thunderbringer is looking for trouble. He's running amok. But all of the, the other muck is going on down here, so... There's another H. 
Good job. Good job. Myrmidon's a guard. He's a gird. He's girding this. And hopefully they will pick up the deny on this. They are in presence enough. Oh, and another one of those masterful uh, curse <laughs> grounds going down there. There's the Thunderbringer ultimate to go ahead and seal this Glacius' fate. Yes, it does. It will tick down in one more second. No, doesn't need to. Why would you want to do that? Especially since you can pick up, like, three kills by not letting it tick. And there's the deny. They picked up three hero kills and one loss, so very nicely done, as they will go ahead and pick up this defense tower to boot. And that should uh, slide this game a little bit more heavily into the Legion's favor. Um... I didn't even really talk about it in the beginning of this game because, you know, it's supposed to be a relaxed cast and I'm having a good time and I don't want to stress, but I will touch on heroes because it's it's itching at me because I'm just like, hmm, okay, so enough fooling around here. Who is going to win this game if it goes all crazy shifted in one direction? So we have a Swift Blade hard carry on the Legion side. Corrupted Disciple could be classified as a carry. I don't think... Um, I don't know, with his new buffs and stuff, he's classified as hard carry. He, he's he's potent. We'll give him that. Um, Thunderbringer with spell shards can be a nice late game presence. Um, Dampier, I have yet to see a huge performance out of a Dampier. Sandwraith, recently nerfed, is still considered OP in some circles. So, I don't know. I think that the rebalancing on him was uh, pretty, pretty okay. Uh, if anything, I think it might have been a little harsh, but... Uh, to each their own on their opinions, I guess. Uh, Glacius. <laughs> this voodoo gesture just so wants to use that cursed ground. He's like, OMG, guys. I'm telling you, this thing is instant win material here. <laughs> Sorry for ultimate decapitating uh, Corrupted Disciple, which was quite fun to watch. And Soul Reaper, you're going to be able to heal or no or oh crap. Uh, he might tick down from this. No, he does not. Just barely going to survive. And Glacius sticking around one second too long. <laughs> Survives with 15 HP. Um, okay. I mean, if he just had this Thunderbringer ultimate or illusion come around for the flanking maneuver, uh, definitely would have gotten the um, the bonus damage off on that to have sealed a Glacius kill. But it doesn't matter. They're going to get a tower down here. After picking up a hero kill as well. They did lose Corrupted, which is a little bit sad, but um, I'm sure that they will be okay for it. And this TP person is going to be obliterated here pretty quick. Um, not the bestest of moves. Uh, or is it? Or is it? He says in a very Jeff Goldblum fashion. They want this Thunderbringer. Oh god, they're diving for it. They're diving for it. No! Get him! Get him, Glacius! Get the kill! Get the kill, Glacius! Wait for it! Oh! He tried! He tried! He he gave it his all, guys. His Tundra Blast was simply not enough. So, I, I am sorry for those of you who had high hopes for this Glacius. He is just... Oh, he's just not living up to my hopes. I was expecting to see Frostfield Plate, Blink Dagger... Yeah, maybe a shrunken head, like Doombringer, all of this cool stuff. And with that tower, there goes the Legion's advantage. It is 18 to 16, 76 gold and 179 experience, it, or well, opposite, 76 experience and 179 gold, are all that separate this game right now between the Legion and the Hellborn. So, back to where I was talking about, after that long um, intermission there. Sandwraith was at least the hardest of hard carries for a good long time. Still may be a very viable por person in that. Scout, usually a pretty selfish um, hero. Hopefully they do not have him play as selfishly as Scout is known to be. For some reason, people just get all troll-like when they play on Scout. Like, dude, Codex. Total Codex. I'm going Codex. That's all I need. I just need more kills. More and more kills, and we win. But yeah, hopefully this scout will um, will help his team out there and uh, help this Sandwraith, because in the end it's going to come down to Thunderbringer, Swiftblade, and Corrupted Disciple against... Oh, pardon me. 
most likely. Sandwraith. Soul Reaper might have a good, because he's got a carry potential or semi-carry potential there. As the slow, the uh, Tundra Blast coming out there to get these guys slowed down just enough. Voodoo Jester <laughs> trying once again to get another curse ground off. Glacius, though, trying to mop up. Gets taken down a little too quickly there. And we see four. Wait a minute. Where's Dampier's? Oh, he's disconnected. Well, that's lame. Uh, yeah, so we saw all of them go down there except for Sandwraith and Dampier. Dampier did not go down because he is chilling out in the fountain um, discussing politics and wanting to tell everyone how cool he is. As Swift... <laughs> that Sandwraith was like, dude, I don't want any of that. Keep it to yourself. I'm going to be up here chilling without a sword in my face. So, unfortunately, whether that was <laughs> just... <laughs> Pure, pure luck that it did not jump to the Sand Wraith, but I think the distance was just slightly too much for that Swift Blade to make the jump over to Sand Wraith, which probably would have saved them a little bit of grief there, but... Uh, who cares? Because, you know, Dan Pierce not in the game anyway, so they can just say, dude, you know, you were out in lane and you died. Sorry. Um, we didn't feed you or anything. And he will just have to believe it, because that's how it goes. And we are going to see a pause here. Let's see if they can get their teammate back in line here. Let's go ahead and fast forward this little game. Run this over here so you don't get to see what time we have left. Uh, we are sitting, as far as gold per minute farm goes, we have Swiftblade with 230, or 292, my bad, that's gold, not gold per minute. 292 leading his team, followed by a Corrupted Disciple at 271, which is exactly what you would expect to see. Oh, and Thunderbringer rounding out the crew. With uh, 230. Meanwhile, we have Dampier with 230 for his team being the lead. Oh, geez, man. He is the lead farm so far for their team, and that is definitely not good. Um, I mean, the Sand Wraith has been at these woods for a long time, but uh, it's just, you know, I mean, he's got his helm of the Black Legion, has his Steam Boots. Uh, he's just just not picked up his farm yet. It's only 23 minutes into the game, but still, he's not he's not doing too great just yet. He's got um, what's his kill score so far? Oh, we got Voodoo doing a little of the killing in here too. I saw him use some mana. I was curious as to what he was doing. Um, oh, we're gonna see another pause here. Here comes that. Let's try and touch on some things here. Let's go over the items again. Oh, Steam Boots finished on Glacius. So now he is like up to the 1300 HP mark or pretty close. Actually having more HP than almost anyone on his team besides Dampier here who has been uh, very dedicated in his allocation of strength. Uh, Rune to Axe pick up on Swift Blade, which is going to mean the ever-increasing farm on Swift Blade will continue to do so. Corrupted Disciple picking up a Thunderclaw as well, which is going to help him out a ton. So that is really nice. That's a, a really nice um, pick up there on him. And Thunder uh, picking up a Portal Key. Hum, I will say. Simply hum. Not what I was expecting. Uh, usually... Uh, Recently, you'd be seeing a spell shards in that. I, I, again, I'm not familiar if Thunderbringers... I know that, you know, you want to be within certain uh, area of effect for his lightning bolt to, you know, do the maximum effect because it has the extra AoE damage and everything, but still, yeah, I would have liked to have seen his spell shards there because it probably would have done more damage than than that, but... Uh, with the nice little bit of distraction there, they were able to go ahead and call the Swift Blade to the rescue. Um, rescue Rangers, Ch -ch -ch Chip and Dale. Uh, don't know why that popped to mind. Myrmidon going to try and hunt down him at Glacius. Glacius stopping very nicely there. Is going to be able to get out of here. Took a little time to cast his spell though, so that was a little detrimental. Hopefully he can dodge this Myrmidon weed field that will be coming. There it is! Is it going to be enough? Oh, the slow from Sandwraith! <laughs> and 
Glacius is going to pick up the kill onto that. Holy crap, Myrmidon turns into a bunch of tentacles. I never realized that. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Glacius, you, my friend, are a champion. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, oh, that was just good. That was good. Yep. Thunderbringer making making me laugh oh so much. That was that was priceless. Um <laughs> oh, that was good. Uh Scout is working on his rune decks, sand ray, blah blah blah. I Astrolab pick up or Elabe, whatever. Um on Soul Reaper, along with some ghost marchers for the rundown and run away. Uh technique there. Why is that? I never realized that it had the little thingies that float around it. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at there for the Hellborn. Legion side, Swiftblade picking up a Whispering Helm. Going to grab a creep to do some stackification there. Going to run it on over. Get it ready to pull some dragons. Be my guess. Gets him some Ancient Stacked. Wow, that Vagabond portrait there. That Vagabond Leader portrait is like really creepy looking. I think that's the first time I've ever looked at it. I've never seen its face, though. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, and he's staring at the ground. It's no good. Can't even see it. Uh, Scout going to be spot or no, Sandwraith going to be spotted here. And is going to be forced to use his escape mechanism, but unfortunately, when you're frozen in place, you don't get to go anywhere with it. He does go ahead and pop his ultimate, but it's not going to be enough here. He gets chased down. That's what happens when you have a five-man gank squad. Someone's going to die. Uh, and, yeah, they pick up three heroes. Four. Oh, wow. They actually had, um... That's a shame. They had the Hellborn... They actually had Dampier disconnect completely. Wow. <clears throat> I didn't notice that in the stats or anything, so... Icebrand disappeared. Did no one pick it up? Oh, Sandwraith has it. That's why. I'm guessing... I'm guessing that's where it went. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we are going to see the Legion team coming in here and pushing. I guess with Dampier, they didn't really lose a ton, but there is. I don't really see how the Legion should lose this if they do. They've got a good experience lead right now. They are going to be having a Corrupted Disciple and Swiftblade versus a Scout and a Sandwraith. But the Scout and Sandwraith really haven't had all that great a farm just yet, and unless that changes, I don't think it's going to end all that well for uh, for the Hellborn here. So we will just have to see. Um, see what pans out here in the end. But definitely not um, not expected. I didn't see that at all in the, uh, the replay. Hopefully I was looking at the right one. Uh, but yeah, we've got Scout waiting for a chance to hop out on a Voodoo Jester or possibly a Tasty Thunderbringer. Um, wanting to get some flesh in his blades, or on his blades, or blood on his... I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, he's a scout, and he's good at killing people. So, that's exactly what he's going to try and do here, is he is positioning himself... Oh, and he had some backup coming, but unfortunately, he has been spotted. Now, scout is like, okay, Thunderbringer, come on over here, come on over now. Oh, no, you're going the wrong way. Dang it. So... Now he's going to congratulate his teammate on scaring away his uh, prey. And they're going to push a tower. Bam! Do not disturb. Um, what was I thinking of? I had something in mind there. Uh, he's going the Gnome's Wisdom route on this Soul Reaper. Going to be picking up the Gnome's for that extra little bit of support capability there. Not going super carry or anything. Um, trying to get some good items that's going to help his teammate and himself out. Himself out. Uh, I was going to say, if he escapes this, that's mind-boggling to me. But, no, he does not. And that is very unfortunate, because that is almost a 10,000 golden experience lead now for the Legion. Um, Glacius still being the man that he is, running around here, throwing up wards and stuff. Uh, <laughs> a skeleton king that had been charmed, uh, working as the Congor ward for the Hellborn, sitting nicely in these little um, ferns here. 
I don't know how much vision they actually have from that. It could just be sitting there and not be, you know, it, it's just sitting there and if anyone walks past, they'll auto-attack it, but that could be, I don't know, that could be an interesting little strategy. Sandwraith now very close to his Frost Wolf um, with that pickup from Dampier's um, Rotting Corpse. He did go ahead and pick up the Ice Brand, I'm assuming, since they said the Ice Brand disappeared, but uh, they could be trolling. And uh, so, Ice Brand, Blessed Orb, how much gold are you sitting on? He's at 1,200 gold. How much is that recipe for that? I want to say that he's already got it by now. Seven, oh, f I forgot that you need the glowstone. 1,200 and 700. So he will have his uh, glowstone soon enough, and that will help a lot. Swiftblade going to be picking up a nice target here for his ultimate. Unfortunately, Scout leaving Glacius to himself. Uh, does not actually, though, since that would be... Oh, and Scout popped his thing thinking he got the silence off, but he did not. And now... The they're going to be able to... Oh, wow. Nice use of the Glacius Freeze there to save himself a little bit longer. He does go ahead and get an ultimate off, but it is not going to be enough to save himself. But it was enough to help pick up the kill. And with that, we are going to see a 4-for-1 four exchange um, on the Legion team there. Corrupted Disciple taking his time, going ahead and pushing that bottom tower, working on his Charged Hammer still. Also has himself a Whispering Helm. Uh, that would explain the creepification that they have there. And no creep pulling going on. Blue, you're not even alive. Creep pull. Creep pull. Aww. And he's not going to. So, very unfortunate. But, not everyone can have that level of presence. And I think that this is... I don't know if this is... I didn't even check to see if this is team matchmaking or what, but... Uh, I'm just here to... I'm just here for the lulls, guys. Rundex pickup onto Scout. That is going to be a huge pickup for him. Frostwolf also of equal, um, well, greater than uh, amazing, awesome pickup in S, however you want to put it. Uh, very nice on that Sandwraith. That will help him out tons and tons and oodles and oodles. As that has so far, his farm has continued to steadily increase. He's at 33 minutes in, 239 gold per minute. Uh, we have. Oh, okay. Oh, I hate it when someone leaves. It screws up all the stuff. Now Scout's not showing up on this little scorecard down here. Dang it. Oh, well. Well, so much for keeping track of their gold per minutes. If that is correct. Um, I think Dampier's right, but it's not showing Scout for some reason now. And I can't not determine if that's him or not. Anyways... We've got uh, Soul Reaper pushing at around the 212 there. So he's got a good, uh, reasonable farm. Soul, uh, Swift Blade, though, 348 gold per minute. That's exactly where you want to be with the Swift Blade. Maybe a little bit higher. I mean, if you can get more farm, power to you. But 300 gold per minute is pretty respectable. It's just, I mean, it's obviously not as great as it can be. But uh, going to have a good time with that. As they're going to try and pick off Corrupted Disciple nice and quick here. They do manage to do so. Uh, thanks to the combination of uh, Swiftblade and Scout. Or, Scout and Sandwraith, not Swiftblade. Um, Sandwraith, oh god, Sandwraith goes down to the freaking tanked out Myrmidon. Taking him down. So yeah, wow. We've got a Sandwraith now facing off against four Legion teammates. Basically three because Merm's really hurt. And probably going to die to a Sand Missile. <laughs> so close, not quite. Um, but yeah, now this is this is gonna get interesting here. As yeah, Sandwraith is gonna probably go down to a cursed ground. Won't die on the first tick. Might go down on the second. No, he's healing now, so he will survive this. But oh man, this is gonna be so hard for this Legion or for the Hellborn team to turn around at ten thousand and ten thousand with a full team roster here for the Legion. I know Sandwraith is tanky and crazy and etc, but it's going to take a whole lot for them to overcome here. And is he going to try and pick up a kill? He's got Thunderbringer in his sights. He went ahead and switched targets here, decided he's going to go for that 
Curse Ground coming off onto him. He's going to eat a little bit of damage. It's not going to really add up to be too much. A nice ulti cast there. Just a, Well, maybe not nice, but he did cast one. <laughs> and uh, Glacius now going to... Is that him? Uh, who's 6 and 11? It's so hard to tell. Oh, the scout ultimate going out there. But the haste pickup does make that kind of null and void. Doesn't really matter now. There's a creep stack he decided to do. And oh, here's another creep stack, says Scout, who uh, hungrily decides that he uh, wants some of this and is going to try and eat it. Gobble it all up. Whoa, Swiftblade and Thunderbringer comboing down this uh, Scout enough there to go ahead and get the kill. Uh, the majority of those uh, Ancients are going to be picked up by the Legion. And now we're going to see a Soul Reaper possibly go down. Glacius picking up the kill onto the Swift Blade and picking up the Double Tap. There's our carry, uh, Glacius. That's what I was looking for. Come on, buddy. You can take on that freaking Corrupted. Oh, my God. He is actually going carry, isn't he? Um, picking up a Warhammer. So I, I don't think he's going to survive here. But uh, picking up a Warhammer... <laughs> So I can only imagine that he is going to try and go for... Oh god, he wouldn't go for actual Shield Breaker. I was teasing about that earlier, obviously. Um, uh, what would you go a Warhammer for? Um, shrunken Head, I think. Yeah, Shrunken Head. The, the Ogre Axe and the, that... With an Ogre Rex is more HP, which seems to be his theme all along here. He's going plenty and plenty more strength. So I think that will be a good pickup for him. He'll enjoy that and have a good time with it. Scout's still sitting on his Battle Axe, or Rune Axe, I should say. Gnome's Wisdom and Astrolabe there now, complementing the Soul Reaper nicely. Sandwraith has picked up a Quick Blade, probably um, going to be working on something else there. Swift Blade, what you got? Ruined X, Whispering Helm, still the same. Corrupted has not moved. Oh! He did not go ahead and go for his Thunderclaw, or for his um, Charged Hammer. He went for a Savage Mace instead. So, Corrupted Disciple going the very nice high damage route here, which will help him out in the end. Um, he is kind of still a little bit squishy, though, com you know, with this Scout on this team here, because the Scout is going to be able to combo him down so swiftly it's going to be a little crazy and that was good of the hellborn team they did go ahead and decide to do a little bit of a roam and find someone and pick them off now guess what it's four on four so you've got a, a nice even uh, battle here and the main difference being though is that it's two carries and a semi carry and a carry glacius versus you know, Swiftblade and Thunderbringer, essentially. And you've got Merm up there as well that's going to be able to help, and Doodoo as well, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, that's this is the one thing I always um, love to see in these these uh, games of this nature where it's kind of lulzy. You've got the Carry Glacius going out. You've got the, um, you got the Scout pickup for one, which you don't usually see much of, much at all. Uh, but you have the, the Voodoo Jester who is going complete and total carry. I'm going to get kills because kills win games. And so that's, yeah. That's his route. He's getting kills. That's all he wants. Soul Reaper gonna go down here. Does indeed go down to a Myrmidon. A big, ugly, hammer-headed Myrmidon. Sandwraith coming in, deciding. Actually, you know what? I don't want. I don't want to do that. That 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 doesn't sound appealing to me anymore. And Scout just biding his time. He's waiting for that perfect moment. Here comes the S Swift Blade Ultimate, and it is enough for the dispersion to go ahead and get the kill. Glacius popping an ultimate though. Oh, that was gonna do so much damage, but unfortunately he got interrupted. Just hang in there, bud. You're almost to your shrunken head so that would have been so so nice but very unfortunate that he did not get that uh, that ulti off it looked like it was gonna pick up swift blade kill that would have been very nice very very nice so now it's a genocide this is not looking pretty for the hellborn uh, they, they still have yet to try and get up over that 1600 experience deficit and the 11,000 gold so it's 
Oh, man, definitely not looking good for these guys. I would, under most any circumstance, I would say this could be curtains, uh, given that they have four men and they are at a massive experience deficit. Um, but, hey, you know what? This is a crazy game. Crazy stuff is going to happen, I'm sure, because we have Kerry Glacius, and that means that uh, this Legion team is screwed. They are just going to die so many times. As soon as he can get that ulti off for like 10 minutes straight, it is going to like just totally kill everyone. Uh, <laughs> we have this Sand Wraith ultimate going out. He does go ahead and pick up the kill onto Voodoo Jester with a little bit of help. He was wanting Thunderbringer, but it's not going to get Thunderbringer. They take down Corrupted Disciple with Swift... Oh my god, why do I keep calling you Swift Blade? With Scout leading the way on that. Now there are three Legion teammates up. Uh, they're going to try and catch... Oh, they do manage to catch a Swift Blade, which is a better kill in the end than that Thunderbringer. If they can get both, that'll be fantabulous. And here we go. Sandraith going to... Yes, he does manage to pick up the kill. Uh, very nice. A quad kill going out for Sandraith. Are they going to let him turn it into an Annihilation? An Annihilation! Very nice. I don't know why I used my orc voice for that. Orc, orc. Tabu. <laughs> I haven't done those in a long time. Uh, what you want? Stop poking me! Those of you who are fans of the Warcraft 3 genre, you can grade me on my skill on those. I don't think that those are my best um, goof-off voices, but I have fun with it, so that's the important thing. My friend had never actually done that before in Warcraft 3 as far as, like, clicking your... If, if you have not done that, go through and click all of the units multiple times and keep activating them until they finally activate their their phrases and things till they get to the annoyed variation of the, um, the chat and stuff. So. Just keep doing that and you'll get to the... Stop poking me! Uh, one there eventually. I can't even remember the other ones. Uh, God. No, nope, I can't remember any of them. I'm not gonna give you guys. Uh, Henry is a freaking rigged carry. <laughs> uh, yeah, he is. He is doing a pretty nice job here. That's what I kind of was thinking here. Uh, he was gonna be going for that, and bam, bam. There goes that mana. Waiting for it. So it does go ahead and have the mana burn to coincide. I'm not sure what he's getting that other with that other quick blade just yet. Um, but uh, looking forward to seeing this go out here. They are going to try and take down Sandwraith. Wow, tons and tons of damage coming out. That is going to be enough here as he does go ahead and jet down <laughs> to Corrupted Disciple who kills him almost instantly. Um, so that was unfortunate, as Sandray thought that that was Voodoo Jester. Um, so I think that this nice little back and forth that we've seen here may be coming to an end. That was kind of um, kind of unfortunate there that uh, Sandwraith died out on his own. He's got 58 seconds on a Resurrect, and he does not have enough gold to bring himself back into the game. Uh, Glacius, do you have your shrunken head yet? No, he doesn't. But we do have a Soul Reaper pushing Legion base while Legion is pushing Hellborn base. I don't think he is going to be able to match the speed and or ferocity of this uh, Hellborn team whatsoever. But that's not going to stop him from trying. Uh, Glacius is going to probably go down here very... Oh, he does... <laughs> he had a shrunken head too. He didn't even get used. Uh, <laughs> as now he's got 70 seconds left on him. Uh, the bottom Rax's set is now down. Oh, God. Scout now down. Wow. As this looks like GG going to be coming out here. Uh, Sandwraith now coming back into the fray after his long cooldown. So, Scout too bad. I don't know. I, I haven't been really paying attention to skill level and or... Um, etc. on any of this yet, but uh, I don't think that he's been horror bad or anything, it's just 
a swift blade is just so determined to end this game. He's like, you guys keep him in the fountain, and I'll just go for throne. Yeah, he goes on a gank for 1v5 and wants to blame him, etc., etc. Yeah, that makes... I can I can sympathize with uh, him on that. That's... Oh, God. Talking about throwing the game. There we go. The hat trick coming out. Quad kill. Now it's down to him and Swiftblade. Oh, no. Sandwraith, get out of there, man. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I'm not done with you yet. You get back here. You get back here. I am going to hit you. I'm going to hit you so hard. So hard. But um, doesn't matter because he died to Thunderbringer buying back. So. But, hey, that kept the Hellborn in this game. Uh, we're at 46 minutes in. The top, did it get pushed in? Oh, it's almost down. Yes. Yes, that small little victory for the Hellborn. They can all just, like, concede now and say, GG, guys, we got the melee racks. This game was well played. I feel that I, as Soul Reaper, uh, donated the most to this team's cause. But, yeah. <laughs> Glacius still hasn't used his shrunken head. He managed to pick it up, but he has not uh, gone for it yet. Um, Scout trying for the solo Congor. Going to be at it for a while. But he is, nonetheless somewhat succeeding uh, I don't know that he's going to be able to do this here he's going to need some help Glacius is maybe going to try and oblige but no he is not um, Scout wow he's going down pretty quick here I don't know if Scout's going to be able to handle this much longer that would be so sucky if he gave this up um, to a swift blade or something but he is going to try so hard right now to do this as Glacius is doing his damnedest to defend and Soul Reaper pushing quite handily because he's freaking Soul Reaper. Oh god, Scout wants it so bad. He wants it. He just needs help. He's trying to regen a little bit. There we go. Now he might get it some teammates. He might go ahead and get a Soul Reaper. Soul Reaper's going to come in here and finish this off um, with him. Going to help him out. So that'll be that'll be good. Scout, pay attention, buddy. Scout, pay attention, buddy. Scout, why JFK? Oh, he's waiting for Sandwraith. Why would you even bother waiting for Sandwraith? Would be my question. But oh, he wanted Sandwraith to get it. That's why. That's why. Um. So yeah, now we've got a Sandwraith with a token. Hopefully, this will be the fateful battle. That will end all battles. And Thunderbringer, along with the Thundercats, um, will be victorious. Um, I'm not thinking so, though, now. Because we have Voodoo. There goes Thunderbringer. He goes down. A nice Glacius ultimate. Finally, he feels so satisfied right now that he finally managed to get the majority of his ultimate off. Still, let me put this out there, still not using his shrunken head that he's worked so hard for. And the genocide going out onto the Legion, that has got to be devastating. That that Actually, that turned around the experience lead now. And the Hellborn are at a 9,000 uh, gold deficit, but who cares? Because now they've got a chance to push. They've got uh, Swiftblade out of the picture for 70 seconds, Thunderbringer for 40, and Corrupted for 58. This is their chance to wreak havoc. And they are going to go for it. Uh, they do not have a creep wave with them right now, but they're not quite on the base yet. Oh, looks like they are going to go ahead and maybe do a little bit of BD in. Your creeps are all dead. We're not now they are. Yeah, that's what... Uh but, you know what? If you're four man versus five man, I'm gonna say backdooring's allowed. I'm gonna say it. I mean, it's not like this is attorney, anyways. But, but still, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, go ahead, backdoor your little hearts out. Because if you can manage to beat five guys with four guys, that in and of itself is a little bit of an accomplishment. So, congrats. And there goes top rack scout gonna be spotted here. The puzzle box minions not quite. Oh, it doesn't matter if they're high enough leveled yet. Level 2. Can they see Invisit Level 2? I don't think so. 
Nope. Um, so yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, scout going down there, but they did pick up and even out the the tower um, or the rack score, I should say. Uh, now we do have just the bottom left. They do have an extra tower down here that they're going to be able to defend with, and all five of the legion are up this time, and they are going to push hard for the win. We're going to have to see how this goes. Uh, Sandwraith still sitting on his token. Uh, if they can manage to win this fight, then I really think that the Hellborn maybe is going to be able to go ahead and pull out with this game because they have come back from the 15,000, 15,000 uh, deficit that they were at. Soul Reaper stepping out a little too far, but luckily that fail weed field um, helped him out a little bit. Uh, oh, and a nice hex coming off onto uh, Swiftblade as well. So that is very nice. Uh, Sandwraith still does have his token. He's trying to make a little bit of use of that for right now. Don't know if he needs to be. <laughs> Glacius finally got to use. Oh, he picked up a Spell Shards. Spell Shards level 2 on Glacius. So finally did go ahead and get to use that. And oh, here comes the last of them. The Corrupted Disciple goes down. Going downtown on the Crypt of the Shopper. Um, so yeah, that's GG. It's got to be GG. Yeah. I don't see how it could um, be otherwise. Unless they have gold. Uh, no, they do not. None of the Legion team is capable of a buyback right now. And instead of finishing the game, we have a scout uh, farming Ancients. And a Sandwraith. What are you doing? He's going bottom. He's going to go ahead and try and end this. Yeah, he's, he's trying to end it quick, too, because he's using his ult, his moves and shit to get him down there. So he's going to go down here. He's going to kill this creep wave. Um, there's going to be music playing in the background, like sweet rave music going on. So it'll be like... Uh, let me let me see if I can reenact what's going on here. So, yeah, that was kind of anticlimactic because he's really... He kind of sucks at this. There. He's... Does he have... No, okay, never mind. He does have a Geos, though. So, he could be trying to push this a little faster. <laughs> Scott's like, dude, this is how you do it. You just, like, attack, like, five times in a row, and the creep wave dies, right? I mean, that's how I do it. Um, and Sandwraith is just kind of puzzled and, and doesn't know what to say in response, so... He is, however, going to wander up here and push with scout I wish that they would have been able to have just they could have probably just gone ahead and gone for um, the throne at this rate or the whatever you call it what is it called here in this in this side world tree the world tree they could have gone for that but they did not and now we're going to see once and for all uh, the battle go out here oh god the hellborn picked up a kill oh all these creeps, I guess, killed Thunderbringer. That sucks. Um, Sandwraith now trying to pick up some more kills. Does go ahead and pick up the kill onto Voodoo Jester. We're down to Swift Blade and um, Corrupted Disciple trying to carry this out to the end. I don't think it's going to work out here, guys. I don't think that Swift Blade and Corrupted are going to be enough here, especially against uh, the Carry Glacius uh, with the spell shards. Oh, here it is! Nicely done, an ultimate to slow him just a little bit more. He did not get the kill. That was reserved for Soul Reaper in his ultimate. But it was a good show nonetheless. So, I think congratulations. By the time they finish these bottom racks, the middle's already dead. That's that's hilarious. So, well played by the Legion. Um, even better played by the Hellborn, I'm going to wager to say. Um, actually, no, this is... This is a uh, relaxed cast and or early cast, whatever you want to call it, because I'm up way too late, and yeah. So, thank you all so much for watching, um, if you are still watching, because I'm certainly a little goofy tonight. But, anyways, I will catch you guys later, and again, this has been Minoxin. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.